Hello, and welcome to Roseplay Classic Season 6, Episode 2. As always, I'm your host, Ori Moon Rose, and today we'll be continuing the Let's Play of Earthbound. So last time, I was in my PJs a lot. We got woken up because of a meteor, and then woken up because Pokey here wanted to... Uh, find his brother or something. You know what? I don't really know. I just know they asked us a lot of weird questions. You engaged the runaway dog. Well, uh... I'm sad? The runaway dog is making a loud piercing howl. Dutch is barking. Pokey tried to edge closer to the enemy. And Adam attacked! Nice! I'm the only one that did anything. Yeah, of course. Oh, wow. Dutch did something. Pokey pretended to cry. Guess we know who the real hero is. Ah. Loud Dutch charged forward. Dodged quickly. Pokey smiled insincerely. Nice. The dog dashed twice. Alright, Dutch is barking. Pokey acted all innocent. And I made the dog tame, apparently. Adamus level is now two. My offense went up by one, HP by three, and I realized the power of Life Up Alpha. All right, beautiful. Nice. I don't really have that much PP, but whatever. Uh, guess we're gonna look around. There's an asp. Hey, Adamo, like I said, my dad isn't home yet. You've got to bring Pinky back before he comes home. I try to help you a little. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you've done such an amazing job. You engage the coil snake. Let's see how much better you can do. I mean, even Dutch is doing more than you, buddy. Of course you did. Before I speed Adama. Yay, the coral snake became tame, at least. Wow, I gained one experience. That's beautiful. The dog was like a mini-boss, guys. Right, right, right. Is this really the right way, though? Yep, guess so. Huh. Neat. Oh god, another do tame dog. Or runaway dog, I guess he's not tame yet, is he? Whoa! A smash attack by... Dutch. Beautiful. And we won. Uh, I'm gonna do this uh, life up. Yeah, Adama tried life up alpha. Adama's HP are maxed out. All right, good. Cause that was pretty destructive on my part.
and Gage the Runaway Dog. There's a lot of these. Pokey apologized profusely to me or the enemy. I'm a little confused as to which one. Pokey used Adama as a shield. Don't like Pokey. I'm gonna say that right now. Also, by the way, could I go forward? I like didn't check. Cause there shouldn't be any cops. It should be like really late at night. Right? Holy crap! Nope, nope, forget that. I don't expect that. Alright. Yeah, of course you apologize profusely. Alright, I probably shouldn't object. Yeah, hello, Mr. Coil Snake. Thank you. Pokey played dead. Yeah, my dog loves me. Pokey, I could throw to the side of the street and just watch him not exist anymore. And there's a lot of coil snakes. Pokey pretended to cry, of course. I'm gonna have to heal after this. Could have really went for a level. Ha <laughs> ha! Sorry, Pooch. Hey, Adama. I was too busy to investigate, but I heard a child's voice on the hilltop. I'm a busy man, but when I do a job, I do it well. I'm a man's man. Yeah. Think I found Picky. I love how they just left the media right as is. Oh! If I knew this was going to be such a scary place, I wouldn't have come along. I'm out of here. Beautiful. Now I've got Pokey. What? Oh! You woke me up. Pokey, I've been looking all over for you. You see, Pokey got scared and ran away. Well, I'm glad that you're okay, at least. Let's go home now. I bet Mom and Dad are worried sick about us. Jeez, sometimes I wonder which one of us is the real big brother. Well, maybe Picky will do something. Picky joins me. Yeah, I'm gonna talk to this... Adama! Do you hear a buzzing that sounds like a bee flying around? No. Yeah, no. Oh, come on. You must hear it. Well, I see a light. Does that count? A bee I am. Not. I'm from 10 years in the future. And in the future, all is devastation. Gygus, the universal cosmic destroyer, sent all to the horror of eternal darkness. Nice. However, you must listen. Where I am from, there's a well-known legend that has been handed down from ancient times. It says when the Chosen One or the chosen boy reaches the point, he will find the light. 
The passing of time will shatter the nightmare rock and will reveal the path of light. You see, it is my opinion that you are that boy, Adama. This, I believe. Gygus's monstrous plan must have been set in motion somewhere on Earth. If you start to confront the enemy immediately, you may have time to counter the evil intentions of Gygus. Three things are of the utmost importance. Wisdom, courage, and friendship. The fourth? Throw Pokey over this cliff. The legends from the ancient time tell of three boys and a girl who defeat Gygus. I'll tell you more later. Go now. And do not be anxious about the future. You have much work to do, Adama. Did you listen to what I told you? Yes. Thank you for listening to my long story. You are so exceptional as I expected you to be. Okay. Buzz Buzz now joins you. Really? Buzz Buzz. Adama. It looks like you're really in a lot of trouble this time. Three boys, he said. Uh, I'm not one of those three, am I? Because... I'm not into this kind of thing at all. Don't worry, I'm throwing you off the cliff. Jeez. My heart is almost pounding right out of my chest. Actually, what about the media? Caution. There's still lots of fire burning. Here and there, it's hot. Alright. Sure. Adam, my buddy, I have something to tell you, and only you. Can you come visit me later, alone? Yeah, sure. I'll try to remember. Alright, now as we make our way back home. Guess the enemies decided to go by. And I spoke to- What the fudge is that? It's been a long time, Buzz Buzz. You've been successful at foiling Master Gygus' plans, but, Buzz Buzz, you must now surrender. You're no longer just longer a hero, but just a useless insect. I'll stomp you hard. Let's hope we can win in one fell swoop. The Starman Jr. blocks the way. I got no more HP. Buzz Buzz tried Psy Shield. Omega? Oh, that's good. Pokey's body was... Yeah, like Pokey needs it. Picky's was too. Nice. And Buzz Buzz for some reason. Pokey pretended to cry. At least Picky's doing something. Oh. Wow. It made Sci-Fire disappear. Uh, thank you, Buzz Buzz. Holy crap! 126 damage. Yeah, of course you pretended to try. Starman Jr. B tried Sapphire B, but it made it disappear again. I think all we really need is, uh, Buzz Buzz. Check. Bullcrap, he's not the hero of this story. Psychic Shield became stronger, and Pickies. Everybody's shield became stronger. Let's just put it that way. Yeah, of course. He's on God. Dang! Starman Jr. was defeated. Beautiful. Adamus level is now three. Defense went up by one. Defense by one. Vitality by one. IQ by one. Luck by one. HP went up by 12. PP went up by five. So, nice combinations. Whew, I was taking a big chance there. He came from 10 years in the future to kill me, so we can't relax yet. From now on, you'll be fighting enemies sent by Gygus, as well as humans who have evil thoughts. They'll definitely make trouble during their adventure. Animals are also becoming violent, due to Gygus' influence over the evil in their minds. It is the truth, so listen. 
So, I should be taking him home, right? Oh! What is wrong with his mother? This is like Five Nights at Freddy's! Where in Sam Hill have you boys been? I'll have to think of a suitable punishment. I'm really sorry that my kids troubled you so much. Both of you are really gonna get it now. By the way, I'd be happy if you left sometime soon. I'm tired of your family living next door. Ouch! We've loaned your father a lot of money. It may have been a hundred thousand dollars or more. What was my father? Well, I guess it really could have been less, but because of the loan, my family and I now live in poverty. My husband is much too lenient with the children. Oh well, nice guys finished last. That's the story of our life. Ah! I think it's a dung beetle. I'll smash your guts out. Beautiful. I'm so tired. Nag, nag, nag. No problem here. No. My husband is very soft-hearted. I'm a gonna check on the kids before I talk to Buzz Buzz. My dad really got after me. He said I, I get no dessert for the rest of the decade. I don't want to look at the meteorite anymore. Uh, I was much weaker than I thought. So you must now begin your adventure. See you. Wow. Oh, I just remembered. Listen to my final words. To defeat Gygus, your own power must unite with the Earth's. The Earth will then channel your power and multiply it. There are eight points that you must visit. Make these places your own. Each location is your sanctuary. One of them is near Wanet. It is called Giant Step. Go there first. Do you understand? Yeah. All right. You're a very intelligent young man, and oh, the pain! Everything's getting dark. Oh. Before I pass on, I want to give you something. It is the soundstone. You can record the melodies from the eight. Your sanctuary locations. Into the stone. It is an awesome item. By the way, I'm almost gone. But did you want to hear the story one more time? No? Good. It's already dawn outside, but it doesn't matter to me. I'm fading fast. Ugh. Adam, I got the soundstone. Well, now I want to kill the mother. And the sun. And maybe berate my father. For, you know... Murdering my... B-friend? Alright, yeah, yeah. We're gonna go home. Maybe not. Uh, we're gonna go home. Which will probably be the end of the story, by the way. For today. But, he did tell me... Ha <laughs> ha, spiteful crow. Ah, my eyes! Big grin on his face. Of course it's dodging. A bread roll. Oh, you mother! Beautiful. The enemy left a present. Yeah, let me guess. Oh, it was my cookie. Alright. The guy said to come talk to me when you're alone. We are alone. I'm gonna go talk to him. Then I am going to go and go home, talk to my sister, my mother, save, and probably leave the episode for this time. 
Okay, I don't like your grin. You're shut your in. Now die. Yay! Critical. Criticals are beautiful. Enemy left the present. Another cookie. So how does this work? Let's see. Yeah, come here, Fido. Oh! Here is the runaway dog's opening attack! And he missed! Ha ha! But I'm missing! A lot! I gained four experience. Beautiful. Uh, I just want to talk to what's his face. I was like, where did he go? I'm doing this because I trust you. First, let's go to the basement. Uh, I can tell by the look on your face. You don't want to hang out, do you? That's all right. After all, we are not even related. Well, then I'm feeling stranger danger here. I know you think I'm a big liar, but maybe I'll surprise you. Just please don't kill me. It's gonna game over me, isn't it? Yeah. I'm feeling so much stranger danger. So, Adam, a buddy, I found proof of a great treasure—a huge hall. Yeah, <laughs> I'll show you. But you're it. You're the only one. Come on. I don't trust this. Oh, I really don't trust this. If this is a sign of what lies below, I just need a little time. My destiny is to find and dig up the buried treasure. I'll eat garlic and work out to help strengthen myself. Go home now. You're getting in the way of my work. You may start to get greedy thoughts. The golden statue is glowing strangely. Right. Well... Uh, it wasn't what I thought it was, thank, thank, thank goodness. I really thought he was going to kill me. Alright. Let's go back to our house, rest, talk, and, uh, save the episode. Oh, good. Oh, I was like, I can't move. Well, at least the snakes aren't murdering me as fast. Ugh. I could so use a level. My god, I just got done fighting a coil snake. Yeah, of course you did. At least it's dead. Oh, my level did increase. Oh, baby, a fence went up by six. Speed by one. Oh, baby! Guts went up by four. Luck went up by one. Maximum HP by two. PP up by two. Adam realized the power of Hypnosis Alpha. Cool. I guess. I mean, honestly, with just one person, you know... It's 
Not quite what I wanted. I still have twenty dollars. Huh. Yeah, I did. Stole a cookie. Yeah, I bet you do have a big print on your face. Holy crap! Enemy left. A cookie! Oh, he stole a cookie, so might as well have given back a cookie. Oh god, now what? Pictures taken instantaneously! I'm a photographic genius, if I do say so myself. Okay, get ready for an instant memory. Look at the camera. Ready? Say, Fuzzy Pickles! Wow, what a great photograph. It'll always bring back the fondest of memories. A big-lipped alligator moment! You're back! Don't bother yourself with talking now. You look too too tired. Mothers understand these things. Eat some taco and scoot up to bed. Well thank you, mother. Shouldn't have been tacos though. Why would you only give me a taco? Whatever. Oh, it's my line now? Whoops. Yes. What do you want me to do? I'm not storing any of your stuff. Do you need anything else from me? Well, take care and I'll talk to you later. I say my family's weird, but, uh, no. I don't want to go out anymore. I don't care if everyone thinks I'm a stubborn mutt. Good morning, Sleepy Bones. Are you ready to start your adventure? I'm so proud of you. My little man is growing up too fast. Yeah, four levels. I guess Dad. It's your dad. I deposited $71 into your bank account. Taking away what you've spent, you should now have $101 in the bank. Well, experience to go to the next level? You've got 62. Anyway, what do you need? I need to record. All done. Your dear old dad was also thinking about hitting the hay for the night. I've created a record of your adventure to this point. Good night, sleep tight. Yep, and we're a great team, aren't we? Well, you should turn the power off instead of pressing reset. All right. All right. Okay. Yeah, I guess I won't be doing that again. But anyway, that's where we'll go and leave it for this episode. When we come back, I guess we'll finally get to go explore Wanet and try to find the soundstone. Maybe we'll get a party member along the way. So until then, remember, keep gaming. Never give up. And my stranger danger feelings are still kind of there. <laughs>